So when I was a kid, I thought I was stupid. And I can hear my friend Doug right now saying, yeah, Brad, you were stupid. So sometimes I think as kids, we all feel that way. But I just found something in the attic that I think is gonna shed some light on this whole self-esteem thing I had when I was a kid. Before I open this up, a quick story. Back in the 80s, um, Dominic, not, not that Dominic, the kid down the street, he invited me to his birthday party. I think his mom made him invite me to his birthday party. Nobody wants a stupid kid at their birthday. So Dominic's a year older than me and he's got all these kids from his class and I don't know anybody, so I'm kind of sitting off to the side. And when he starts opening up presents, he starts opening up all these little green army guys. Check that out. G.I. Joe guys. I didn't steal these from Dominic. These are, these, these are mine. All the kids are going totally crazy over these G.I. Joe guys. I'd never seen these things before because, you know, at that point, you know, Star Wars was still a thing, but it was getting stupid with the Ewoks and everything. All the kids are going crazy. I'm like, what are these, these toys everybody's playing with? So I started getting crazy for G.I. Joe, but I didn't have any. Luckily, my stepdad worked for the post office. About that time, there was a mail away premium that was going around and apparently somebody moved and they were throwing away mail and my stepdad dug this out of the, the garbage at the, at, the, uh, at the post office and so some kid, some kid did not get his Cobra Commander in 1983 or whatever it was. Maybe it was Dominic because Dominic moved so this might be Dominic. If you're watching this and this is your Cobra Commander, sorry Dominic, anyways, I got the G.I. Joe guy. Check this out. The next year, I got Storm Shadow. What is eight-year-old Brad doing at school? I'm playing with G.I. Joe guys, because these things, man, you could sneak these things to school very easily. And then I just sat at my desk all day long, playing on the inside of the desk. I got really good at pretending that I was paying attention. For my entire third grade, in my entire fourth grade, my entire fifth grade, I wasn't doing a thing at school except playing with these things. Completely had no clue what was going on at school. I had no idea what was going on, but I was having a blast. Surprise, surprise, by the end of fifth grade, my grades aren't very good and I don't know what the heck's going on. I could barely read. So with my little 10 year old brain, it made sense to me that I was struggling in school because I was stupid. Not because I had spent three years completely oblivious to everything that's going around me. Think about that for a minute. Was I really stupid or the fact that I was able to coast through school for three years with nobody even noticing that I didn't know a thing. I was a genius. Nobody knew. How about that, Doug? How does this 30-year-old story... 30 years? It seems like yesterday. Anyways, how does this 30-year-old story relate to 2018? Because I've noticed that everybody in our society has completely lost their mind and forgotten what human nature is. We have no clue how the human person is supposed to work. Now, obviously, I didn't know how to read because I wasn't reading. If you want to read, it helps if you have a book in your hand and you're actually trying to read. If you want to play the violin, but you never touch a violin, it doesn't make sense to say, well, I can't play the violin because I'm stupid. Well, you probably can't play the violin because you never tried. Let's take this up a notch. This is gonna get a little tougher for some people to listen to, okay? If you're lost in life, and I've seen this a million times where young guys don't know what the heck they're doing with their life, and the first thing I ask them is, tell me about your prayer life. I pray. Really? When's the last time you went to Mass? 
Okay. Are you stupid? No, absolutely not. You just need to take the time to pray and discern to find out what that mission is that God has for you. All right, look, I'm gonna go back up in the attic. There was some other cool stuff I wanna show you. What was your favorite toy from your childhood? Video games are not allowed. Video games aren't toys, like legit toys action figures that like cool stuff transform don't give me any pokemon baloney subscribe to this channel and go check out our other youtube channel ladare and our blog at ladare.org thanks for watching